This is Dellum DA65 W. It's a graphical con control. We've got product selection. I can actually see a, a material in a library of a, a, a family of parts that I've programmed for quick reference if I can't remember what product number it was. I've got product backup, uh, USB or hard disk, to the control or to the away from the control. I've got a tooling library of punches. This, I've got 99 different punches I can have programmed in this machine. That's the, the tooling dimensional is, is critical for stretch out, radiuses, also bottom dies. I've got a tooling library all the way to 100 bottom dies. You can see right now we've got seven programmed. I'm going to go into a product drawing. I'm going to give it uh, just some random numbers here. Under my product number, I can do alphanumeric also. I don't have to necessarily give it a number. I can give it a particular customer or a family or a batch of, of that particular part. I'm just going to go with 100. I'm going to tell it what the thickness of material I'm bending. The machine needs to know this so that it can limit the tonnage that it's going to develop. By the material library, it'll know, and the V-die opening, and the radius of the upper punch, how much tonnage it needs to apply. I've got a material library. We can make this list as long as we want. This, this particular customer's got some Core 10 program. Uh, still, the machine needs to know this for tonnage and also a spring back. Each, you know, every type of material, depending on the tensile, is going to have a little bit different spring back. Length, I need to tell it for tonnage. Also, my Z1, Z2 position. I, I'm going to tell it if I want outer or inner dimensions. That's crucial for stretch out of what I really need. I'm going to start with a flat line. Let's say if I'm building a channel, it's four inch. I'm going to come up one inch. And I'm going to come over 0.5. So I'm going to make that 0.75. Now, I can make, let's say right there I wanted a radius. I hit the bump, I tell it I want a three inch radius. And it's going to tell me how many segments, how many times do I want to hit it. I want this pretty smooth, so I want to hit it say ten times. Now it's telling me the production for that radius. I should be running a .35 tool. I can bump that radius. Now bend sequence, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick my tools. We have right now on the machine die five punch seven. I could just hit seven or toggle to it. I'm going to unbend. I can see my bend sequence. I'm going to store this program. Now that particular part with this tooling requires a 9.162 blank length. It's already done all my bend deductions, bend allowances for that particular tool, a particular part. I can, I can change my bend sequence if I don't like it. So it'll optimize, pick up the best bend, bend sequence. That's it.